Hi guys and welcome to Gist of TV, your home for everything entertainment and trending news. Subscribe to this channel and after subscribing there is a notification bell, the bell button. Click on that bell so you will not miss uploads when I have them for your viewing pleasure. Hi guys and welcome to this channel. Stay tuned and watch the gist that we have for you today. Say I'm bored in a house and I'm in a house but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Coronavirus. Everybody quarantine. Say I'm bored in a house and I'm in a house but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh my God! Coronavirus. Everybody quarantine. Oh, fine. I mean, I'm also a, I'm a divorcee, and before you get into a relationship, sometimes you think the person is going to be different. But what qualities drew you to this guy? And when you found out it was different, how long did it take you to detach? And then what led to the final breakup? I you, I know you said uh, you were in London when you realize that things could not work what were those things without hurting his image so that let's use this as an opportunity to clear the air instead of causing fights but at least let it be said that okay a lady me will share no relationship or that if let me start with you using you as an example you know everybody know you do live video a lot right yes just in case you are married again abby yes Okay, she be this your wife that you are married now met you on this your live video that I used to do, or you started after you married her. Uh, I started after. She was cool with it. Yes. But you, you always doing an you do educational live video. You don't just come on live video. Did you do you do your live video every day? Um, when I have issues to address, and um, because like you said, Instagram is somewhere where I also eat from. Make money. You know, if this man makes money off this Instagram, he does. Is this live video he does every day? I swear, now we go the reminder to go on live video. You don't make you don't make money on Instagram, but you are always on live video doing absolutely nothing. A lot of people keep sending me his live video. Ah, your your husband don't day live again. Your husband no they go work. Your husband no get work. Why is he always on live? morning afternoon and night i called you because me you see as i was talking already i was already aggressive a part of me i am not a, i am not a saint i will say it again i have my own bad side so if i want to address an issue i do not say it calmly i go mm. para yes i they talk and because that is the only way i can express myself I will, I will, I will relate the, my anger angrily to him. I'm like, why are you always on live video? I will even tell him by myself, bro, are you jobless? Why are you acting jobless? Unconscient, as in, I am like that because it is the way the people who are seeing him. Because I don't follow him right from time. The most of I, I check up on his page since the beginning of the relationship. I do not follow his handle. Sometimes I will follow, and if he gets more issue, I'll just unfollow back, block, go. Now my way, be that change the name, come on from the sweet sweet name put the name when papa and mama give her aside from that okay the beginning of our relationship like i said from the onset he said no high expectations i'm like bro what do you mean by no high expectation because me i get large family to feed i wasn't expecting a man to come and but still a reasonable man will support his woman because i used to believe one thing that a woman who doesn't ask for anything deserves everything oh you get it i agree i agree we met that. through a mutual friend we met through a mutual friend right that one said oh and uh, one of his friends has been seeing me in movies he just wants to be my friend i'm like at that time i just came out of i saw my ex join this life i'm not i'm not i don't know if he's still here and that time i just came out of uh, a relationship i was still trying to heal so i said you know what i am not interested in relationship since he said he just wants to be my friend okay that's no problem we could be you know friends chatting and all that so he added me the first day we talked at length and um and that was it for like months we didn't talk like i think after like three months i don't know one thing led to another we now had a very deep conversation right the conversation leads to i don't even understand the conversation just leads to okay are we dating now i'm like oh bro what do you do you say you are a royal air force right 
you never told me anything about you being a politician or you have a foundation that you will need me to always push for you being a celebrity we i, I did not even see you like someone when i met him in all sincerity me that i just left a relationship that was all over social media i said okay so this kind this person now might not like social media and this is the kind of person that i am looking for my fans don't know any that way that they advise me say put your relationship off social media if they sweet me because they try to put them off even me said come on now i have dated a lot of people before meeting these people you people are seen on social media when i'm saying that these people are disverging me i'm not a virgin so as i was saying um where was i ah fuck my ear is Congo. <laughs> sorry 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 you were saying no, it's that... fine. okay i didn't meet you on instagram i never even knew what your handle was we only chatted on whatsapp video but call I... and all of that that was where you were yeah, we only chatted on. Uh, I never knew you had an Instagram and do or anything. Mm -hmm. We got talking, we got along. Okay, we planned scene. One of ours. Okay, before we even planned scene, what even happened? I think I decided. I decided to just. Okay, I was. I was. I don't. I can't remember. So I asked him for a particular money to do something for my mom. Then he gave me a cold reply. I'm like, oh, and I'll flash back to what he said that no mm -hmm. high expectations. So I'm like, okay, maybe he does not really have money like that, right? So we kept it like that. When the relationship don't reach, really we don't they do video call, we don't they say, okay, I love you, I love you too. At that time, me, I'm still in a, I'm still trying to get over, I didn't hear me, my, because if there is a person love person, I'm not even ashamed to say it, because he's listening to me. I loved him, and I was willing to, you know, there's the two, there's, there's, there are two different things. When somebody is using you, and still telling you to your face that they are using you even though this same blogger that is that thinks is the one scattering all my relationship said i didn't hear me mike was using me using me he does not even know the genesis of whatever happened between i and Adeyemi because i never came to see my own side of the story i just moved on right so no higher expectations is the answer is the topic of this our live video after i asked for that money he didn't give me i said okay no high expectation maybe you no know, gets like that like that i move hmm. fast forward to when we now we wanted to see when i went to america in um, 2020 december 2020 he wanted to come to dallas but i think the corona they 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 canceled his tickets and he has already paid for the place he was going to be in dallas and all of that i'm sure they didn't return the money till now we couldn't see so i said okay when I let get my prep, my bed is February. I said, okay, when I get to Nigeria, I'm flying to Dubai to have a photo shoot for my birthday. Can we do Dubai then? He said, um, ah, he's not sure he can do Dubai. That is, he's going to be in Dubai um, two weeks before me. I will be in Dubai. I'm like, so how do we see now? I said, if we don't get to see in Dubai, we will see in Nigeria then. I said, okay, that's fine. So that was that about that. Then when we now finally saw, the relationship I was trying to leave, that one done they pepper me with one girl, they cover in face with emoji, they post for Instagram, they don't they carry and they tag me, blogs on the, the same blog to post them. So when this man now came now, I now wanted to do payback. Me self come olam like this, come snap picture, cover in face, post them. Before you go say Jack Robinson, this love I don't uncover in face, come on, it come on the emoji for the face, post them that, in case she's new man. Because this thing was not supposed to be, it was not supposed to get to this point. And even this man self, he did not see himself getting to this point. But the whole controversy, the whole noise that came with the first post that this lover made, the first day I posted him and covered his face, made everything blow out of proportion. Mio, in my own mind, I was trying to get back to a, at an ex. Because he had he, don't, he did the same thing to me. Meaning say he don't move on since he don't they post a uh, girl. So me, I was still that relationship still because Nami offend them. Nami offend them. A lot of people don't even know what happened in this relationship. They don't what? know shit. Nami. Like what happened in that first relationship? Ah no, I don't need that one loud. Um, that is that he tells it. Because like I said, I will never say anything about 
are they any? Because it was uh, no, I cannot, I can never. Every other person, I feel drag them from now and go reach 2056. But you see, are they any? I would never. I will never. So whatever happened there was my fault. But they started saying blah blah blah. I didn't care. I moved on without saying my own side of the story. They dragged me, dragged me, dragged me from there. So when Gislevana posted this new man, uncovered his face, a lot of things came. Ah, that the freeze, my DM full. Yes, in DM also full because a lot of people keep telling him, How can you be with a girl that have slept with the whole world? Mm. With this my quick way say before himself go enter himself, no say it's trouble. Let's continue. So um <laughs> they said they told him different things. This one, why you go be saying that this one you can't say you want one even say uh uh first way be safe she come America now two two hundred dollar everybody take the knock up no matter you know say people with plenty talk as them they tell them then they tell me you know people go ah is it this guy that you finally ended up with a lot of things that I don't you know say when there are so many rumors and all of them they look the same you go just hold them for mind right a lot of those ladies said a lot of things married women small small girls plenty of people they said so many even the same gist lover said send me the gist of some people where they talk say ah this kind of person way because that time i feel we were cool right he sent me the ones that he couldn't post if you have them now maybe she could come and post it so that everywhere goes scatter a particular actress that i've relocated to london he sent me her own too where they that one talk about uh, my ex said a lot of stuff I mean, where in every room there must be small, small truth. So I held on to all these things. One of the ladies in the conversation said she was the one that got him the uniform that he used to snap in the Royal Air Force. It's not the Royal Air Force. I tell her, I say, why you did lie? So all of that just went. Then when the time now, when I now realize that this relationship, I am not sure it is leading anywhere that I see in the future. Because if any relationship that is built on lie, if I post you for Instagram, you go tell me, say, why I don't tag you? She I don't see Popo Girini. Followers are almost 300,000 plus because don't tell the tag her. Ah. Hey, hey. Now, I realize, so, uh, this so, is, I cannot. Uh, uh, now, I'm a role model. I cannot. I say I cannot. From that day, from that day, I zero my mind. Say, so, you see this one? He's just here for the attention and the fame. So I decided, if everybody here knows now, I hardly post you on my page. Now you go wake up for money, go post me. If you post me seven billion times in a day, yes, I love, but not be not reach this level. Moving on, I called you as a guy. What exactly it is that you do? Because if you ask me, I don't know. If you ask me, I don't know. How am I? How, how are we going to raise a family? I work, yes, but I'm working because of my family. I'm working to take care of myself and my family. No reasonable answer. Okay, let's set up a lounge. With my influence, we will sell out any lounge in Lagos. Uh. With my influence, we will sell, we will sell out any lounge in Lagos. Uh. I, don't, I don't know, I don't know. But me, I was willing to... I was willing to... And I said, there was, okay, that time that we said we took our issues off with family. And I asked him, I said, you know what? We are making it look as, we are making it look as if we're trying to prove a point to the world by always posting and posting and doing all this PDA and all. Babe, let's take whatever it is we are doing off social media. Let's have ourselves off the ground. Having ourselves off the ground will make us conquer whatever it is that social media hit is bringing. I never even type finish. It don't come, it don't go Instagram, come right, come do like video, come they say. Uh, he said so many so many so many things in that video. Uh, when life throws you down, blah blah blah, you just have to move on. Uh, ah, people come they send me this live video. I come go meet and for WhatsApp say, Alpha, what is this one that you are saying again? He said, should be should I say I should we should keep our relationship on social media? I say, oh. I said, look, we keep relationship on social media. You can't go, go they from. You don't even want to be asked, pass me, maybe ask her. Come on, then. <laughs> I said, keep relationship on social media. I said, delete all my pictures on your page. Likewise, me, self, delete your pictures off my page. We don't need to explain. You don't need to go and try explaining to people on Instagram. You said you are planning to come to Nigeria for my birthday. And when you come, 
fear we see that we are not we are not broken up we just decided to now now go say keep your relationship out of social media when we can't keep them out of social media now now go see, say ah they don't break up we see this our online in-laws want what do they want our no. online in-laws what do I, they want i want to ask a question do you think the impact of social media on your relationship because that was one of the things we discussed in my live yesterday do you think the impact yeah of- me venturing into real estate and i'm very sure you, you will not say ah this guy i left with the next six months you know go you are you are you are my man i'm like hey, Joe, ever me baby, lower one. i don't understand what is what he even said to the point that i have chased a married woman out of her house everyone call no for me that i'm going to be the pain of another woman Somebody sent me your video yesterday, so I'm going to clear that before I move on, right? She said I was using my relationship to pepper them. How? And yes, that was I somebody. saw it. No, I saw it. That was your your video. Your life already. Your live video already ended. But someone sent it to me. And see, I don't know if you're on this live video. Ask anybody who knows our relationship. I hardly post him. Anytime I post that man, he's the one pushing. And he'd be like, babe, even when you post me, you don't tag me. I'm like, what? Why are you about the tags? So I figured from the onset that I think this man is just here because okay, this one is a controversial idiot. He can always get. He's not. He doesn't hold a political office. He's not an honourable of anywhere. He does not hold any politi- political office in Nikiti. So honourable, he called himself. He named himself an honourable. Honourable, they, they get money and they pay them salary and they pay them allowance now. You get it. So um, I I walked out of a relationship that I felt I wasn't getting what I was supposed to get. In all honesty, when we started off, he told me no high expectations. I I, I, I was cool with it because trust me, you people only know me on Instagram. They don't know how I, they don't know me in real life. They don't live with me. They don't know what I want, my do's and my don'ts. Mm. I can date anybody. I, I am not a lazy girl. You know, the, 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 the life we live in now, a young girl cannot be successful without sleeping around. I don't I don't care if that's how the narrative is, but I will not answer to a name that is not mine. Oh, look, what's your law room? No, no, I want, us, I want us to use this opportunity, um, Nkechi, to clear that particular um, part of the controversy. Um, I hate it when a woman is accused. I have a mother. My mother is a professor. My mother is a vice chancellor of a university. Women can achieve. I have a wife in the house who works hard and earns a living. Let's stop giving women names. Oh, this woman is this because she slept with this man. Or this woman is this because she slept with this man. So please clarify to us, as you have done so far, you do not sleep with men for money. You actually work hard to get your money. Please tell the fans. And with this, you can also tell them some of the things you do. Okay, that I-, is, I think this is an opportunity. Before all this, yeah, um, everybody started becoming an Instagram influencer. I, in Kichi, I started charging for adverts far back when I had just 200,000 followers on Instagram. Mm. My first customer was Suruka NG. Everybody knows the brand I, I, I advertise most, the Suruka NG. I, I, I was the first person who, had, who started this, they are influencing thing that everybody don't come package them. We can they make and look like, say, na big deal. You know, some people do not believe you can be a billionaire of this app. We know how to make the money, so we make the oh, money yes. for Instagram. Yeah. Since I had 200,000 followers, I have been charging 100,000 Naira to make a post on my page. Fast forward to today, I charge nothing less than 500k, 300k. I give you discounts if you have been my customer from way back. I make a lot of money on this app. It might not be too much money, but contentment to me is the greatest wealth. I don't need to have too much to be okay. That's why how I live my life. It's a long room. I am up. I am very very okay. I am not going to say I do not have friends. I mean male friends because I am not a saint, like I said from the beginning of this video. Of course. And let me tell you something. A lot of girls used to lie a lot about no man is financing me. No. Ninety percent of the money I used in building my house was from Instagram. Ten percent were from men who likes me, who are toasting me. I have toasters. They know I am not married because we talk. They know I I am not married. I have toasters. I'm not going to come and claim saints on Instagram. But I used to tell them something, yeah? Any money that Instagram will give me, me only lie, me 
Mm. Today alone, I made a post for 100k a post. But at the freeze, I'm not trying, I'm not without mincing words. I've made 3.8 million naira today on Instagram. Mm. 100, 100 k a post. A lot of people pay for multiple posts. And see, you go to post them. I don't say your page, they're always hot normally, aside from the controversy. You go to post them. One go, one pay. 200. Another one pay. 300. Because the page they hot. So I, I always make use of my opportunity. To make because I now I cross the Onitsha Bridge now, even though they bought me from Lagos. I have a large family. I have a large family to feed. Oh, they treat me like the Yoruba. <laughs> I, you know, I have a large family to feed. So, like I was saying, like I was, as I was saying, I started off this my influencing thing when I had two hundred thousand followers. I charge, I charge to influence brands. As of now, I have over eight brands I am influencing. Some are influenced for two million if they are not taking too much. The my highest paid in my my highest paid brand right now is on a 10 million naira deal. That is a six months deal. That is the skincare that I just renewed. That money just did my account. I know even they use and do anything. Because she mm. just paid me like um she just paid me like um few days ago. A six month skincare deal, I charged 10 million naira. When I started, one year skincare deal, I charged two million. When I my first ever, my first ever um skincare deal that i signed was two million for a year because i was still starting that time i never really get um, enough followers but i built the brand to a point where okay we had the an unreconcilable you know madam this brand don't big are you going to increase my pay there are other brands who i told my price and they are willing to pay she didn't say anything she didn't say anything so she she left i don't know what there was issues in that brand so i just said okay since i have other brands who are willing to pay me this amount why not just move to them hmm. you get it you know people I think when well, you know when people when we say we make money on instagram they think we are just capping there was one time i wanted to have an influencing class i wanted to have an influencing class where i train influencers on how to make money on instagram but i got discouraged because if i post something they'll start saying a lie a lie but if they if they sit down use their, their phone and their data realize how much they for inside instagram <laughs> ah good many of them abusing me today go turn you influencers every day okay G? sir more every day are they come live videos and they think they're mad <laughs> 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 a world of opportunities and so is facebook youtube TikTok. all of them are a world of opportunities and the sooner people understand this the better instead of you sitting on the app and hating on other people's success and uh, jumping on controversies yes you can jump on controversies but are you getting paid the person exactly. that is commercial is making because money because they are the one cashing out now oh. when they abuse me and me they cash out i don't say a lot just they enter my phone a lot two deals just came in now that i was not even expecting mega mm. deals i go collect that one now i don't even at funniest part is i don't even live my life to impress anybody i am living in moe the house i built is in moe i don't live in lekki i don't live on the island i live oh. within my means and because i'm not trying to impress anybody i drive a toyota corolla i i'll be waiting with the name of that car where omolo will be giving me Monzu, eh, toyota camry mm. I live within my means because I don't try to impress anybody. You get past me, no me say you defeat me. So only can look who like your yeah, yeah, around. Everybody who are those who are close to me knows the real me. I don't need to. I don't need to impress anybody. So if you're coming on, if you're coming at me to the one way make me why why my outburst yesterday was because you, you just you just you just came from nowhere and started creating lies. Same person living, or person living in husband house for me. Same me I did for the man. I'm in an apartment in Abelkuta because I'm setting up an office. I want they don't even know because I posted new office coming up soon. I want to film and I have a picture of what I want in my film. And Omolu Abi has a empty office space in his building. So I said, since I want a pic, there's a picture of how I want my office in the movie to look like. Why not turn this place into the office I want in my film? It is my film. I have to shoot it well. Because I decided I don't want to do ah olo ibo kan she made your crow abi kilo ma kweki ni eh mediocre thank you I decided I don't want to do mediocre again you know because we filmmakers we we have a lot of issues getting space to do our film you get so I am not building an office space like I'm creating an office space for my next film 
because I know I get sense. I don't need to go to pay money they give person make I use their office when I have an office space that I can turn into my own permanent office. Now that one they still they say eh hey, the man said don't they do another office for us? You don't even know you don't even know jack shit. You just you guys just see things. Somebody just tell you something and then every it's everywhere all time snatcher. Come on, come on. Mm. Now, um, in defense of the blogs, uh, Gist Lover and all the other blogs, they work on information that they get from people. So, uh, who do you think is in your life right now that could be leaking all sorts of negative information about you? Daddy, please, do you know the funniest part? I don't have friends. All these people, you know, let me tell you something now. Do you think now, as God don't bless me, which I don't get one thorough cover for inside my account, I will now have time pick up my phone and start telling a blog about another person. I'm not jobless. Allah will she to me there. I have never in my life seen a successful troll. They are all miserable now. Olori they will my life, blow my mirror you know. Olori they will see a long care. Who God has blessed will have time to go and start typing. Of course there are people who are obviously this whole thing I envy because me myself eh, how I survive. When I was let me let me just say a short testimony. The house I am I am living in was Supposed, was supposed to be for my mom before she passed, right? Each time I get to a state when my engineer sent me a bill and I check my account, I don't see one couple. I just go down on my knees. I say, God, you know I am building this house for my mother. I do not know where that money wants to come from, but please just provide for me. How I they survive? How I take care of my entire family? I myself don't even know it. But I believe in the power of prayer. I believe in the power of grace. Now, I can't lose my mom. When my mom was alive, I took care of her. There was nothing my mother needed in this life that I did not give to her. So I'll be a mom, will my foot on my feet, my left, or dear. I don't have a father. I don't have a mother. I am alone in this world with my siblings. So my mm. mama will come die, come leave me, take me in the apony. How all these things are coming to me? Me, myself, I don't know. I will be like, how? Bao Lucien Shelley. They cannot break new. Instead, this is the way they just do at the next level. You know, every phase in your life, you know, it prepares you for the next level. I only broke down yesterday because I was hot. I was pain. Now, how can you just come on Instagram and just put up? Everybody know you for your life. Now, that was that when he said, it was this, my ex. That took me to Dubai. I think that that period of time we never even know each other. Dubai, that mm. I took my younger sister and my photographer. The woman I am a brand ambassador, card collection, bought the gift ticket of my sister. I bought my, my economy, all of us fly. How much is that? the economy? 400k. You now go see people for flights. You now go see say whether they be billionaire because you have you are not opportunity to get on the flight. You think people that fly that travel are billionaires? My car that I sold, the guy, I, I'm not sure if he's on this live today. My Range Rover that I sold, I bought it for 14 million. I paid six times before the money complete. Woman, I will join all of them together, money go complete. I know be big gay. So maybe my help if did this live video now, we won't help me. I know be big gay. I've never, I've never, I've never, I've never proven to anybody that I had money because I don't even have a lot of stuff. I call it Bobo. A lot of bad because then you're bad to me anymore. Any other bad to me, I'm going to be right back home. And that is the only person that I am holding strong to this point. That he is going to vindicate me by himself. Bring proof of me having anything to do with a married man. You go to bring video of a, when I was selling a bomb bomb booster, where I had with some models saying, uh, one says she sucks my pussy. And by one point, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, it's hey, how you got clear now. Um, I want us to talk about how you met this guy. Didn't you know, guys? I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please subscribe to this channel and share this video with one, two, three, as many people as possible. And if you do not want to miss uploads like this when we have them for your viewing pleasure kindly click on the notification bell the bell button that appears once you subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next video bye